Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd Anderson with EVNirvana.com. Welcome to another edition of HDMI Test Bench. Today, we have two versions of the same cable on the bench for testing. Uh, these are from a company called GOHN.G. This is a Chinese manufacturer, and this is their AP dash h21 fiber optic hdmi 2.1 cable i'll drop links to this cable right down in the description you can buy it on amazon here in the united states and the cable sits right around that 18 to 22 dollar range uh this version right here in the smaller package is a 3.3 foot version and then they also sent me a larger 15 foot version which i've noticed is not for sale right now on the amazon website here in the us uh, the longest length is actually 10 feet which ironically is less expensive than the 3.3 foot version at least today here on amazon okay so what does this cable promise well first off they it's a fiber optic uh, cable it says it can pass data up to 30 meters of course we're only testing up to 15. Uh, it's based on the hdmi 2.1 specification it says it supports 8k at 60 hertz and 4k at 120 hertz uh, with data rates up to 48 gigabits per second now is that important to you for the vast majority of you out there 48 gigabits per second probably is not going to make a difference most all of you are going to be topping out at 40 gigabits per second uh, in fact most of your equipment out there uh, when it comes to avrs and things like that are topping out at 40 gigabits per second but for you hardcore gamers out there 48 gigabits per second is going to matter so that's definitely something we're going to be testing uh, it says it supports hdcp 2.3 and eARC, which uh, oddly enough is something that uh, people have asked about with past aoc cables uh, so we are definitely going to talk about that as well so let's start off looking at the physical specifications and you can see there this cable gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to its dimensions uh, the head length is a little longer than some of the cables that we've tested in the past but this cable really makes up with it uh, with its static bend radius and uh, you can see that bend uh, from termination to a flat surface which basically means uh, how far you can back this cable up uh, once it's plugged into a piece of equipment uh, when it reaches a flat surface. So uh, right there, 2.1 inches, that is really getting down to one of the best measurements we've tested so far. And we've tested quite a few cables on this show. Uh, that static bend radius of nine uh, millimeters, that is in fact, the best static bend radius uh, that we've tested so far. And I think I might have been able to push it just a little bit more, but I felt like the more I pinched it, the more I could see the wiring, the, the cabling that's inside of this sheath. And that made me a little uncomfortable. And the same goes for when you back this thing up to a flat surface. So if you buy this cable, I would really hover right around that two inch distance uh, from the back of the plug to a flat surface don't push your luck too much uh, because this little reinforcement piece right here it is not flexible it's hard it could potentially be a pinch point and a point of failure uh, for this cable so give yourself about two inches uh, right there with that now you can see the cable diameter uh, 3.5 millimeters again that is among the best that we've tested here on hdmi test bench in fact i'm looking through my notes here and that is in fact the smallest diameter that we found yet and uh, by quite a bit so physically speaking this cable has a lot of really nice attributes uh one thing that i do like this sheathing doesn't seem to have a lot of memory to it so i could see this being very easy to uh, hide when you're installing let's say you're trying to run it along a, uh, a baseboard and a carpet surface and you're trying to kind of get it in underneath the baseboard or something along those lines um, however you choose to install this cable it, this is not going to give you a lot of problems it's not stiff you can see it's extremely flexible uh, so kudos to uh, this company for the physical properties of this cable. Now, one immediate red flag for me, there is no ultra high-speed HDMI certification label anywhere on the packaging, which means these cables were not tested by the HDMI forum. It's not the end of the world. It's nice to have that stamp of approval. My recommendation typically is 
Make sure you buy cables that have been tested and approved by the HDMI form. That's not the case with these, and that really does not mean that these don't work. For performance testing, we used several different pieces of equipment. We have our Meridio 8K Fox and Hound test kit. We also have the Meridio 8K 48 gigabits per second sticks testing kit along with an AV Pro 12 by two distribution amplifier that uh, we are using to test the 48 gigabits per second spec. And you can see right here, the first thing I did is run the cable test using the uh, Fox and Hound test kit. And both of these cables established a five volt connection and passed the kits cable test. Then I just shifted into running various uh, connections we're talking about 8K 60 hertz at 10-bit color, uh, 4K 60 hertz with 12-bit uh, color. Also tested audio channels. We uh, all eight audio channels were coming through just fine, uh, and I ran these tests with HDR10 and HDCP 2.2 uh, engage. So pushing through 40 gigabits per second, not an issue at all. And I let these tests for each cable run for an extended period of time to check for stability of transmission and I found no issues. So then next up, we headed into the theater room where I used a combination of the Styx generator and that uh, AV Pro 12x2 to push 48 gigabits per second. That is 4K 120 with 12-bit uh, color and 444 chroma subsampling uh, through to a JVC NZ8 projector. And yeah, absolutely no issues with doing that. Uh, it's a very stable picture. It's pushing 48 gigabits per second, uh, no spotting or sparkling, no dropouts. And uh, again, I ran both cables for about 15 minutes each without any issues. And that's great news for anyone out there looking to push 48 gigabits per second through this cable. You can do it and it does it in a very stable manner. The last test up was ARC and eARC, uh, which I performed using Sony A95L TV fed through to a Sonos soundbar and it handled audio from both stereo feeds and a Dolby Atmos feed uh, without any issue. And uh, yes, I let this test run for a while. There were no dropouts. So uh, yeah, this cable actually works with eARC as well. Now, I also put these cables through some tests with a variety of devices, including an Apple TV 4K box, uh, and I didn't have any issues with connection dropouts. So all the lights are green with the small exception of the HDMI form stamp of approval, that little sticker, that ultra high speed sticker that is supposed to be on the packaging. It's not on this packaging. Uh, I'm gonna overlook that uh, for this review and still give these cables the HDMI test bench stamp of approval uh, just because they perform so well. And I think for budget conscious buyers out there, I. I feel confident in saying that you can buy these cables and you're going to get a quality product. Once again, folks, links to these cables are right down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on HDMI Test Bench.